there's only only one friend I've ever had my entire life. And I married her. When she died, it was nothing but an empty shell. Waiting for years, waiting to be with her again. She clung on and held on for so long. And the only reason she did was to hold my hand for as long as she could. To feel my touch as long as she could. When she died, everything good in me died with her. You think I just decided that I wanted to be looked down upon or looked at as if I was less than everyone else? Guess what? I accept who I am because there's not a damn thing wrong with me. We love who we love and we want what we want. You guys ever think maybe we're the problem? <laughs> like maybe we're overanalyzing everybody and everything to the point where our brains are about to explode from all over the overthinking that we're doing. Maybe we're too soft. Maybe we're fragile. Maybe we're broken. I recognize that look in your eye. You think your friend's gonna come in here guns blazing and save the day, don't you? Hate to break it to you, but that isn't the world we live in. No. The world we live in today, it's built off the blood of the weak. And you, my dear, you just happen to be a casualty of that world. I'm tired of being followed around this fucking store and I go to buy a $400 suit because God forbid I look like someone who can afford that shit. I'm fucking tired of being held down. I'm tired of being spit on and spat out. I'm fucking tired of 2018 years of the same fucking shit with nothing good to come from it. I'm tired of all of that shit. You can't run away from me. Don't make me do this. I will kill you. The dream is dead. That's what I believed on that night. I thought that this country stood for more than misogyny, racism, and hate. I thought it stood for hope, belief, and love. But on that night, I lost all my hope and all my belief. There must be more than this. There had to be more than this. And then I saw it. I saw people, citizens, Americans, stand up. I saw them unite. I saw them put their foot down and declare that they will not turn their back as a man attempts to destroy everything they love and everything they believe in. 
They will not stand for the garbage of this country having a louder voice, and they will not stand for the greatest country on this planet becoming the absolute disgrace that they are working so hard to turn it into. Maybe it will fall on deaf ears. Maybe the greedy and disgusting will revert this country completely back into the unlivable disaster zone that it was for so many people. But on this day, the good people in this country let it be known that they will not allow it without a fight. And they fear not the greed and might that stands before them. We are ready, Mr. President. We are willing. And we are watching.